Hi quilters, it's Katrina from Sunshara Quilts again, and today's video is on the AccuQuilt Go rag die, and this is the eight and a half inch uh, rag die. But today we're specifically going to be talking about the cutting mats, and as you can see, this cutting mat is fairly chewed up and beaten up. I'll show you the other side. But if you can believe it, this mat is still cutting beautiful rag blocks every single time because I did a little bit of maneuvering with this rag, with the mat. I hear quilters all the time saying about how the rag dye just eats up the mats. And I'm not going to lie, it really does, but they're still usable. Just because it looks like this doesn't mean it isn't working hard. This is my eight and a half inch AccuQuilt Go rag die. Now, I just wanted to point out a couple things about this. Right along here, and all the way around, you can see a square shape. That's going to cut your eight and a half inch square for you. Now, in here, every quarter of an inch is another blade, more blades, I should say, running along here. And what these are going to do is they're going to cut your fringe for you. So this die cuts the block and the fringe for you. And what you can see on the mat here is the damage to the mat from the die blade. But as long as you cut in a different spot on the mat, it's not really going to matter at all. You can see how many cuts this die mat has done for me already. Okay, so starting off, I'll tell you, I like to start with a cut square instead of a strip. I find this easier to get through the cutter than using a strip. So my squares are cut pretty loosely at about eight and three quarter inches. I really don't stress about this at all because this line here is going to cut the block. These little lines in here are going to cut my fringe. So what I do is I just lay my block across the die and then if you can see how um, the lines here are really corresponding to the um, lines on the die because I cut a lot of blocks lining the mat up perfectly with the edges of the, cut air, the, the die cut. So this time instead of doing that what I'm going to do, and I've got those huge huge indentations on the die, is I'm just going to um, move the cutting mat just a little bit more so that it corresponds with the angle of the actual blades in the cutter instead of with the edges of the die itself. So now I'm just going to bring this to my go and put it through the machine. And I will tell you that your cutter will break in a little bit and the dies will break in. So this actually becomes a little easier as it goes on. So now I'm just going to take that away and you can see I got a perfectly cut strip even though it has all those uh, marks in the actual mat it cut my fabric just beautifully. And if you want to see how much fabric I've cut with it I did um, all of these <laughs> raggy blocks um, last weekend and on this mat and it was cutting just fine. So here you can see the red lines um, are where the cuts went and they're actually falling in a different position right now than where these ones were. So they're hitting a newer part of the mat instead of hitting uh, where it was going before. Now the next thing I want to talk about is uh, cleaning your uh, die out a little bit. Your go cutter comes with this dental pick. So you can use that to get anything up that you need to, but I also got this tip from another quilter to use a pair of needle nose pliers. If I have something like this hanging in the, the die, I will um, pull that out, but I really don't stress about all of the little bits. I don't find that it really matters as far as the cuts go. I find that they kind of pull themselves out on their own anyways. So you can again use the pick that came with your go to just pick that out and then use your needle nose pliers to pull out any other little bits. But again I think I clean it out after every five or six passes. So as you can see just because your mat is looking a little bit beat up doesn't mean that you're not going to get absolutely perfect rag blocks. 
it doesn't matter what your mat or your dye looks like, what matters is the finished product. So I hope that you won't uh, feel that you have to be so fussy with your rag dyes. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll leave me a comment or a question. And you can check me out on my blog at sunshowerquilts.blogspot.com. And again, any questions, comments, or video ideas, feel free to leave them here or send me an email. And I'll see you again soon. Bye, quilters. Perfect looking raggy blocks. <laughs>